welcome. In my videos, people learn about how to have better health, more peace in their heart, and knowledge in their mind. My videos are designed with the objective of having the most epic relationships ever. I think the purpose of life is to learn to have great relationships. When we can, our, our relationships are going to go epic. And it all starts with having a, a good healthy body so that we're less hangry. Anyway, um, today I wanted to talk about how to create healthy, healthy, healthy water. Hydrogen enhanced water that is super healthy. Actually, um, uh, this particular video is going to be on how to clean your rods. So, <clears throat> these magnesium rods have been used for over a month and they are super clean. You can tell they're clean by the color. It's hard to get them out sometimes. But I started to use the longer rods because they don't come out and I found that that's much easier when they stay in. So this particular rod, it does come out. Um, just leaving the rods out of any liquid oxidizes the rods. This rod was perfectly cleaned with vinegar. That's what we use to clean our rods with. I'm going to actually show you this particular rod. It's really cool. When I cleaned this rod, I used 100% vinegar. And you can see the etch marks. It's such a cool pattern. Those etch marks in this rod. In fact, if I rub it with my thumb, I'll rub off some of the oxidation from the air. That's just been air that's oxidized this. and um, But those marks are there because it, it ate away extra magnesium, which means I've wasted some. So by using too much vinegar in this particular bottle, I've had to learn through experience of, of how much vinegar to use. I, I, I used up extra magnesium and had to pour it down the sink. It wasn't necessary. And um, this particular rod, so this rod has not been cleaned. This rod has been cleaned, so that's the difference. Now this one's been sitting out in oxygen for a couple of days now because I was, uh, I pulled it out specifically so I could show this cool pattern. But um, this rod has not been cleaned. It's got some black on it and some oxidation. That's, that's what we want. We want this rod to absorb oxygen. That's what we want, but that's what it looks like before it's cleaned. Now, of course, when they come brand new in the package, I brought some brand new ones. This is this is a package of a starter kit, and they're perfectly silver. Um, I thought I had some others. What did I do with them? There, right here. Okay, so these rods are have brand new. They're in their wrapper still. This is the way I've been doing them lately because the rods stay in the bottles and for me personally I like the fact that they stay in the bottle and you don't ever have to worry about them coming out. So I'm going to demonstrate the whole shebang later on but right now I want to tell you about cleaning rods. So that's what a clean rod looks like and um, 99.9% .9 pure magnesium. Okay. Uh, let's clean these rods right here. I used to use these short rods, but they still come out once in a while. You saw how easy they went out. And came out. And I thought by pulling, putting multiple rods in, I used to only put two rods in. Now I put four rods in, and now I just leave the two long rods. That's the best. Two long rods. Alright. You, what you really need to know is how to clean it. I've talked a lot. Let's put some vinegar in. How much vinegar do we use? One tablespoon is all that I've found is necessary. And um, I'm still making sure that that's going to be enough to take all the oxidants off. So it doesn't have to be exact. It's not rocket science. Like I said, I've done it with a f bottle full of vinegar and it ate away too much magnesium. It didn't, nobody died. Uh, it wasn't a big deal. Just don't seal it, man. That was really under pressure. You seal that when, um, when that's 
got full of vinegar. Boom! That was amazing. Okay. Anyway, um, put some water in it. Fill it up over the top of the rods. And that's it. Let that sit for 12 hours. And you'll actually see the action starting up right away. You'll see the... Actually, there's some oxygen already in that water from the faucet, but once that dissipates, then you'll see the bubbles start to form on the rods, and that will clean those rods out. Once this is done, just pour the water down the sink, rinse your rods, and you're ready to go again. Always try to keep water in the bottle. Always start a new batch as soon as possible. Because these rods are going to, i found they will oxidize in the air just like they will oxidize in the water. So you just well start the process. Put some acid in, get the process going. Okay. All right. That's enough. I've taught you about how to clean the rods. And... That's it. I'm going to make a new video. This one wasn't very good. <laughs>